This is the smallest computer board in the world. And today's video will be with this Raspberry Pi Zero mini computer. Before I start today's project, this video is sponsored by PCBWay, full feature custom PCB prototype service. PCBWay is producing all kinds of printed circuit boards, but also they have a service called Advanced PCB, which is high precision service to produce PCBs with high end quality, lowest total price, and offering to choose from one layer up to 30 layers on board. You can choose multiple colors for silkscreen and mask. New colors are available like pink, orange, gray, and transparent. More about PCB Way you can check in link description. Thanks again. As I said, for today's project I'm using Raspberry Pi 0 W 1.1 version and this is the board. It's a small computer with 1 GHz processor. It has 512 megabytes RAM. It has a wireless connection built in. It has ports like micro USB, mini HDMI. It has a micro SD slot for for card and placing operating system. Let's start. Okay. Of course, you can't use it, the board like this. You can damage some electronic components and many things can go wrong so you need a, a case you can build it by your own from wood or plastic but in today's video i'm using 3d printed case for this small guy take a look at the 3d printed case did you notice something there is a section for the board and section for lithium battery. Yep. I'm gonna try to make small computer with own power supply, which will be this battery and all placed in this 3D printed case. How to power the, the board without using the micro USB port. Behind the board there are two points where you can solder positive and negative wire and those wire wires will go to the switch and from here to the 18650 lithium battery. I'm using copper wire, thin copper wires. Everything is connected, here it is the switch that goes to the board, from the board to the negative and to the positive. Here will be placed the lithium battery. Very nice. So far, so good. The next step is to install operating system on this 8 gigabytes micro SD card. And after doing that, I'm gonna place into the Raspberry Pi and see will it run. Also, you need a, a model for charging the lithium battery. And this little guy needs to be placed right here so you can charge it the lithium battery and make this small gadget a portable 
portable media device. All right. The micro SD card is ready. Now I'm gonna insert it. Push it to my screwdriver. Okay. And be before closing the, the lid and making all the connections with the LCD monitor and the keyboard, I'm gonna try it. Does it work? It should light. Yep. The green LED blinking. That means that the board is working. I have a small LCD 9 inch or 10 inch that have HDMI input. Let's power up. And the mini Raspberry Pi computer. The board Raspberry Pi Zero have mini HDMI output. This is the port. Nothing else. This box needed to be connected just with HDMI cable. The power supply is inside. In, it have a wireless connection for for Bluetooth keyboard like this one. Okay. And let's power up. Come on. Yup. Working. You can make your own media station just like this one or to be a mini personal computer. It's a portable personal computer because inside there is a rechargeable lithium battery and Raspberry Pi Zero mini computer board. I hope you liked today's video, which was building mini personal computer with Raspberry Pi. Please give a thumb up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.